update. Well, hello, you trader nerds. Welcome to a doggone Monday. How's everybody doing? It is a wonderful day to be alive. And don't listen to the news and you'll be okay. That is really the way that it is. You listen to the news, you kind of get all upset and everything. So I try not to listen to too much news and just realize that in my little community of Bowden, Georgia, things are happy. And real traders don't trade alone. They trade with their fellow nerds. we got DB with us today, DMT. we got Hal. we got John. we got Matt Jollywally. we got Mikey. we got Notional Ed in the house. Ruff, Ed. we got Ricardo. we got Vicky with an I in. So uh, good to see everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend. And... Um, didn't do much. Just uh, had met with Jordy. Jordy lives in London, and uh, it was amazing that my son was able to have talks with him about like London and Paris. And Devin's never been there, but Devin, y'all, he is a gifted young man, my fourteen-year-old. And they sit there and talk the whole time about international affairs and and wars and boundaries and and culture. And it was just interesting here, my fourteen-year-old uh, in that. Yeah, it was good talking to uh, uh, Jordy, and uh, we had a great time. Jordy just went through my seven-week mentorship, and he was on a nine-hour layover in Atlanta. And he said, hey, Bobby, let's get together. And I said, well, let's go eat. That's what we do here in the South. I try to get Jordy to drink some sweet tea, but he's trying to avoid sugar. So he was like, oh, I need to stay away from sugar. I said, dude, you're missing out on sweet tea. He's like, yeah, I know. Y'all, I want to tell you something. Yeah, and Devin's learning piano too. Devin is, uh, and his piano teacher thinks he's gifted too. He's uh, he's really something, y'all. Uh, so I have been playing around with Chat GPT, y'all, and look at this. Uh, I've been asking the, you know, how do we back test a strategy? Uh, see what returns would be. We'd want to make. I just wanted to see, you know, holding a hundred percent TQQQ. What would be a strategy with less volatility? And knowing that we've got the tail event hedged, um, look at what Chat GPQ Chat GPT comes up with. It it talks about the back testing plan, the steps for back testing. It's going to get historical data for QQQ TQQQ bill and fix uh, from the exception of TQQ to the present. It's going to apply a couple of triggers that I told it to apply. And it's going to, for those of you that know about the Kelly criterion, the Kelly criterion basically tells you how much to bet under certain circumstances, whether you would be more in or less in on your bet size, and then come up with monthly allocations. And then it, it basically comes up, it will run the back test. It pulls the, all the historical data using the signal-based strategy that I gave it. I, I, I told it, I said, if the, you know, moving average, daily moving average is above this and blah, blah, blah. And um, it's actually going to, uh, it's, it's going to, it tells you the metrics for comparison. The last thing I said is, hey, is there any updates? And it said, uh, the back test is nearing completion but I don't have the preliminary results just yet. I'm fine tuning the Kelly criterion application and ensuring that the signals for TQQQ and bill transactions are accurate. I'll push to have some preliminary findings soon, including yearly performance comparisons with both 100% TQQ and Lucello's aim. So it should be able to compare it to what the aim strategy does if we were to use that. And it will help us understand where the strategy is excelling and injustice are needed. Let's, now let me just see if I can just throw, uh, I mean, what's this? This is really amazing that you can say, what's this? Uh, have you heard of Hedge Bundy's excellent adventure? If so, is it possible to compare the results of our proposed strategy with HFEA. Now let's just see what it says. I don't know if it knows anything about it or not, but it'll tell us whether it can compare or not. So let's do that and let's just see what it says. Yes, I'm familiar with it. It's a leveraged investment strategy. It typically involves around 50% UPRO and 45%. Uh, we can certainly compare your pro strategy, TQQ plus bill with Kelly Criterion Adjustments. Uh, look at this. I mean, 
it is I mean, it, it, it's just amazing. I mean, it's just it's just amazing. Back test setups, uh, outcome comparisons. I mean, it's <laughs> oh geez, it's just amazing. Uh, yes, I would like you to proceed with that back test as well. Uh, have you, are you familiar? I talked to him like he's a person. Are you familiar with Kelly's book, The Three, uh, where's my percent sign, Sigma? Uh, he applies a 9% signal called the 9 sig strategy to leverage e ETFs. If you are familiar with this strategy, it would be helpful to compare our proposed strategy with that as well. Now, I don't know if he knows about this. He he was familiar with, yeah, welcome to the future. I mean, this is, this is crazy, y'all. So you sit there and go, okay, we're kind of coming up with our own little strategy here. And I told him to compare it to Hedge Fundy's Excellent Venture. And then I'm asking him if he's heard of a book, Kelly's book, The 3% Signal. He applies a 9% signal. And, and let's just see what the thing says. I mean, it's, it's just truly remarkable, y'all, the, the, where we are. Let's see uh, what he says here. Yes, I'm familiar with Jason Kelly's and variations you're referring to, known as the 9-6. Look at this, y'all. I mean, this is crazy. Your folks on TQQ and Bill strategy and technical signals, use a 9% threshold to determine when to buy or sell the leverage separate for the 9 heifer in your section. Now, look at this. Uh, okay, bye, Beth. Matt Jolly Wally's here, Beth. You want to say anything to him? Hey, Matt Jolly Wally, she says. She always asks about Matt for some reason. Oh, Matt's your friend on Facebook? Okay. All right. Uh, and then uh, Chat GPT, y'all, will identify the best balance of risk and reward and how they perform under different market conditions. It's just incredible. Once I complete the back test, I'll compile a comparison between your strategy, Hedge Fundy's Excellent Venture, and the 9 6 strategy from Kelly's book. Uh, nope, just a comparison of our strategy to HFEA 9 SIG and Lachello's aim. That should be enough. I'm going to see what the, the thing says to us here. Have y'all used this at all? Yeah, roll tide. We're going to beat up on Georgia. So great. I'll uh, proceed with running the back test, preparing the comparison for your TQQ bill strategy. Uh, Kelly Criterion against H. Look at this. I mean, um, now it takes a while, you know, for this thing to be done, but it's uh, it, it's really kind of neat. Now, let me show you another one, which I thought was kind of interesting. Now, this basically, look at this, y'all. This was this is how I kind of set this up. So you gotta you gotta kind of prompt the thing, right? So. Uh, this is where I basically said, hey, I just want to create a back test. Let me, let's try another one here. Okay. Now I'm not sure that this one will be as robust or not, but uh, let's see. This one is called not chat GPT, but uh of course here I got it right here, Claude. Let's see what Claude says. Yes, Swaz, it's very interesting. Let's see what Swaz says here. Or not Swash, what Claude says to Swash. Uh, let's see, uh, basically see what this thing comes up with. Look at there. I'll outline an approach similar to Robert Lucello's investment management system adapted for your two asset portfolio of TQQ and cash. Let's create a Python script to implement this strategy. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. I mean, look at where we're at. I mean, this is, inc this is incredible. 
It's really incredible. Now, would you trust your life with the calculations that this thing comes up with? Well, okay, maybe not. But I just wanted to show y'all the the power of this stuff. This, you know, uh, aims to capture compute upside of TQQ for main risk. Any part of the code in more detail or have not modified the strategy? Uh, what's this? And if I go to it and I said, explain, explain the strategy to me as if I'm a 10 year old. So imagine you have a piggy bank and a toy store nearby. I mean, it's incredible, y'all. Maybe it's just incredible. Matt, maybe you're right. Go into AI house stocks totally instead of the queues. Um, I mean, but I just wanted you to know, uh, since I've been playing with it, I just wanted you to know some of the power out there. Because I thought on ChatGPT, I thought that ChatGPT would basically tell me, hey, put Tubby, you need to uh, upload from Yahoo Finance the uh, data, and then I'll take a look at it. But no, basically, I ask it, can you, chat GPT, go to Yahoo Finance and pull up the data? And it basically goes into it and pulls up the data. So, you know, um, now the, it, it knows the Kelly Criterion um, it's going to basically come up with a robust system if we wanted to do something like UPRO and Bill or TQQ and Bill and come up with something and compare it to Lachello's AIM and to Kelly's 9 SIG system and to Hedge Fundy's Excellent Adventure. But I just wanted to show you all this. I was really, um, yeah, that's true, man. I've used it for, for uh, now before I did my, this was the, the spreadsheet that I have now I came up with from watching YouTube videos, but now I would not have to watch YouTube videos. I could just go into chat GPT and do that. Uh, I will say that Claude, I use Claude. Uh, if I'm writing a letter, it seems to be a little more personal. It's not as robotic. It's almost like I'm talking to a person. It's, it's really, um, really amazing. But I just wanted you to, I thought it was interesting. Uh, I played with it over the weekend and I, What's amazing is that I'm not paying anything for this. And this chat GPT is working for me 24 hours a day. It told me that it would take probably about two days to complete the back test. So he just told me, Beth says, why do you call him a he and not an it? Okay, well, it just told me that it is almost completed with the back test. And it told me it would take about two days. And I started doing this, I think, yesterday or maybe day before yesterday. So it's right on. But in the background, somewhere, somehow, this AI portal is working nonstop on a strategy. And we'll see how it comes out. You know, I just, uh, I'm really, really excited about it. But we'll see. And, of course, backtesting is backtesting. And, you know, it'll... It'll, it'll do what it is, but uh, this is really interesting stuff. So I thought I'd just at least share that with y'all just for the fun of it. All right, let's see what the market's doing today. Y'all want to? All right, the market is doing nothing, up five points. It is up and down and up and down. This is what we call 80% of the time. Yes, I do want you, Schwaz, to set up a Zoom, if that's fine. If like 12 o'clock one day or 2, two o'clock on Friday during our regular time, if they could do that, that'd be great. Doing a regular session. Yeah, there I go assuming gender. But if they if they can't do it at that time and need to do it another time, we can we can, you know, we'll record it and move our thing around. So this is what you call a, a inside day, a range day where it goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down for the beta powder of the day. Look, we've had a little bit more volume here on the last couple of candles. VIX is at 16. AD is at 150. And what I'm kind of thinking about right now is, and I've already told chat GPT, hey, we already have a, uh, we already have the hedge figured out. I said, chat GPT, I don't really, I mean, you can look at my hedge, you can kind of see what we're doing. And I kind of explained to it what we were doing with the Sweet Bobby hedge, but it said, hey, that's a good way of doing it. 
If you need me to look at it anymore, I can. But I basically told that what we were doing was we have a downside hedge in the event of a crash. So what I'm kind of thinking about doing is if we do something with AIM or the 9% signal is you could do something with TQQQ and, uh, or UPRO. And basically when we have a correction, right? So this stock is going up like this, up like this, and up like this, TQQ. And when we have a correction like this, then that's when I think I would jump in with, with a certain amount of money and maybe play with it. Let's see if we can look at uh, you pro you pro hysterical. Let's look at TQQQ historical data. Let's go to Google instead. TQQ historical prices. Just look at it. And let's go from uh, 2012, well, let's do five years on this thing. So, you know, when you have a big correction like we had during 2022, where this thing just kept going down, 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 uh, to the beginning of the, the trough at 2023, been a great time to get in. Now, you don't know that at the time because you're thinking, well, it could do this, you know, and keep going down. But that would have been a good time to get in. Is it a good time to get in now? Well, it is from that point. We had a point there. So maybe when you have another dip, kind of getting in there. Matter of fact, Devin, my my smart young man, I've been thinking about uh, opening him up a account and just putting a little bit of TQQQ in it. My daughter account, I, I, isn't it amazing how we are more conservative with our daughters than our sons? I, my son, I thought about putting him in some TQQQ or UPRO, and my daughter is in VOO, which is the Vanguard S&P 500. So I've got her much safer than my son. So we'll see. Well, I'm not exactly sure what we'll do, but we'll do something there. Um, where were we? Let's go back over here. So the market's up just a little bit. Let's look at our big green monster. Got to be ready to redraw the big green monster any day now. Won't it? So big green monster is fairly priced. We know the 50% line now that was a little bit of resistance is now support. And... There's a good probability. Now, we can always go back to the point of control, but it looks like we'll have a new point of control if we spend a lot of time here. That would be bullish. If this gets out farther than this, it becomes the new point of control, the area where the most volume has traded in the last 10 days. But what we're looking at is if we stay here for long, then you've got a target of 59.45 to the upside. So we'll see. Let's look at the linear regression. Linear regression. Linear regression just looks the same. We are in the middle of a uh, more significant up move than the overall move and uh, still in an uptrend, though. Still in an uptrend. Everything is still in the uptrend. Uh, we didn't have really consolidation here. We went from immediate down to immediate up. Probably a little diamond figure, but we are still on the up. And where would this be? This is... What area is that? I'm trying to see what area that is. Let me pull it down where I can see. That is the 5912. And what did I say? 5945? Is that what our target was? 59. Yeah, 5945. So there we go. So everything looks really, really good. Let's see how our little account's doing today. Uh, make sure we got it here. She sent me in our, today is the 23rd. Wow, waka waka. Talk to me, baby. And then our net lick is, see if I can find it really shortly here. Our net lick is probably down just a little bit since we've just got hedges on. But I thought this might be a good way to use our hedge, right? 76,231. 76,231.55, actually. And our Greeks and ratios, our delta is four. And our theta is negative 34. And bind power, let's see what bind power is. Let's take this off and do this again. Let's go positions, cap requirement. 
here we are in count requirement there and so let's do this is only six thousand dollars i mean sixteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars and vix is in the 16 handle so everything looks good let's see how our uh how our little hedge looks so let's go over here i said let's go over here for the love of all that is pure and holy Takes it a second. What the crap? Okay, here we go. Do the risk analysis. And today is the 23rd. We're losing strength on our little thingamajig here. Let's make sure everything is checked. Da -da 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 Yep. So we've only got 13,000 here in uh protection, but Hopefully, we're about to harvest something. Let's see if we're close to harvesting. If we're not, we need to put on some more uh, black swan sweet bobby hedges. Let's see what our activity tab looks like. Activity tab, 215. So that's relatively close. Here's another 215. It's relatively close. Total is P&L, not BP. That's right. Total is P&L, not BP. Yeah, so that's kind of what we figured out definitely on Friday. Um, uh 230 to 20 is not close. A dollar to 20 is not close. So maybe before our, you know, I hate for our uh thing to get down under 10,000 on our protection. I mean, it would be hard to go through this and go, man, we spending a little money for not much protection, but um everything looks good right now. So that's about it. But I, the, really the main thing I wanted to show you today is the chat GPT. Y'all get in there and play with it and, you know, come up with some different strategies and get it to do some back tests and stuff. I'm sure if I told it just to go from 2022 to pre present, it'd probably be finished. But I had it go back to 2010 till the present. All right. Anyone got anything they want to say? Everybody good? All right. I love you to pieces and appreciate you so very much. And we will see you tomorrow.